Today we're going to talk about grilling, which is one of our favorite summertime food activities. Get outside and cook it up while it's hot. Um, we're going to do grilled vegetables today, which you may not be very familiar with. We've got a couple of zucchini, a couple of yellow or crookneck squash, an orange bell pepper, and an onion. And this is enough vegetables for four people or, you know, two meals for two people. And after we slice all of this, we're going to spray it with some olive, olive oil flavored cooking spray and sprinkle some of our garlic blend that we like. We have enough vegetables for two meals, so we're going to do enough meat for two meals. This is a, a beef, beef loin strip uh, for individual servings and uh, some Cajun style sausage. There's uh, five things in there. This is our Cajun style sausage that we picked up at Target. And it has uh, 19 grams of fat per link. Which, you know, you'll have to decide if that's too much for you. We'll probably end up having one link each per meal. For the bell pepper, you want to you want to take the stem and the core and the membrane out. So I'm just going to mash my thumb down in there and peel it apart. And empty all the seeds out. That's for a it's lot of the spice and bitter. Right, it's in. bitter. And there's all of that. You want to take the, all that membrane out in it because it is nasty tasting. Gross. Depending on the size of your grill and the grill holds, you might want to make very large chunks of pepper rather than the little skinny strips like you would do for fajitas. Uh, these will fall through on our grill. So just like with the pepper, we're going to slice our onion really thick and chunky so it doesn't fall through the grill. Now for the squash, cut the ends off. We'll slice these long ways so that they're kind of strips. So we're going to just spray all these slices down with our olive oil cooking spray. And we did the zucchini the same way we did the yellow squash. So. This also helps to keep the vegetables from sticking on the grill. And it adds flavor. Speaking of... We're adding this uh, Romano cheesy garlic seasoning that we got at Scarborough Fair that we've talked about before. Okay, now we're getting ready to grill, actually, and uh, we have a propane grill. We use propane and propane accessories, and for those of you who like King of the Hill, like me, that's where it came from. Anyway, uh, if you have a propane grill, you might find these wood chips very helpful. Uh, you can buy them at your store, and, and what you do is just put a, two or three handfuls in a piece of foil and just fold the foil up, put, punch a few holes in it to allow the smoke to escape, and then just put it on the grill surface. If you have charcoal, you probably don't need this. Okay, and so all you need to do is you take your prepared wood chips and just put it in the grill surface, just like that, press it down, and put your grill on, your, grill, your grid on. The thing is, we want to emphasize here, make sure this is well cleaned because you don't want germs and things inside. So, good clean surface. Well, all right, this grill is good and hot. So you want to wait till it's good and hot to begin. And also, watch the surface behind the the grill, you might break a window. Uh, anyway, uh, first you need some water probably to get some steam going in there. Good. And then, uh, get that going, and then go ahead and spray your surface with your olive oil that we used while ago. It's going to flare up, so be careful. There we are. Yep. Be, uh, be sort of liberal with it, because it's got a lot of work to do. Okay, now. Do you put your meat on first because it takes the longest? So we're going to put these steaks on. And I kind of throw it to the back. Like that. Look at that. Isn't that wonderful? That's our steaks. So now we're going to put these sausages that we, uh, that we got. I think I don't need to turn that one around. And that one too. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit better and that's better too. Okay, so I'm going to go. I'm going to twist these around some so they don't fall through the grid, okay? Don't want that to happen. Now, the trick about steaks is you don't turn them more than once. That's important. The other thing to remember is, go ahead and close your lid when you've got them on there. You turn your fire all the way down, all the way down. The uh, thing is, wait on your, uh, wait on your vegetables until your your, uh, your meat is halfway finished. So when you're ready to turn the steaks over, that's a good time with the vegetables. 
So I would say probably uh, the thickness of those steaks, I think they were three quarters of an inch or so. Mm -hmm. I'd say, t you know, depending on how well you like your steak, 10 minutes on each side. So in 10 minutes, we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes our time, like one second per time. And uh, go ahead and turn the steaks now. And then turn your, I'm going to turn the sausage as well. I think that's probably been long enough. And then we can start putting some vegetables on. And I would say that these vegetables, uh, because they're going to be on the grill for about, oh, they're pretty good at that, <clears throat> for about, uh, oh, I'd say 15 minutes, you, uh, the thinner pieces <clears throat> should probably go up here on the top, and then the thicker ones down below. I'm going to take these thicker pieces of uh, onion, you know, just lay those on the grill, as well as these other pieces that are bigger. I would say the peppers as well. Don't worry about stuff if they pick and fall. Just clean it up later. Okay, so we're going to put those there. And I think what we're going to do is the rest of this, we're going to put on the top. Okay. You can actually just grab a bunch at one time, just be sure to lay them long ways. So they don't fall through. Exactly. Use them to belabor it. Just kind of spread it out so the heat can get to it. Okay, that's all of our squash. And here's our zucchini here. We'll put that on this side. Yeah. And again, I would think a good 10 minutes, and then uh, the, re the meat will probably be finished. And then we'll leave the vegetables on a few more minutes after that. There we go. And chuck them in. Okay, uh, I think our meat's done. Let's get the steaks off. And I think these vegetables are going to have to stay on a little longer. And sometimes the little tongs don't want to cooperate with me. Okay. And let's look at it. Here. It's always about the right tool in it and not flipping it too well. That's looking pretty good. See there? Okay. This is our entire yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of work. This is everything we pulled off the grill, all the vegetables, all the meat. And uh, our steaks here and these sausages. And uh, we're going to use some of the uh, South Beach steak sauce here, right, Tom? Yep. This is the, just the, the product recommended by South Beach. Right, one gram of total carbs. So. It is good. So, and so is this. So we're going to enjoy this. You do the same. Try this on your own. You'll like it, right, Tom? Mm -hmm. And don't forget to write us if you have any questions at uh, twofatbears at uh, gmail.com. Or... Visit you can visit us. the website at yep. twofatbears.libson.com. Yep. So, 30 days away, aren't we? Yes. And so we'll see you next time in 10 days, right? Sounds good. 10 days. It's very early this morning. It's Tuesday morning. This is um, what episode 17 of Harry's Weight is 206.0. You've lost Almost a pound. A pound. Wow. To the Tommy? 267.6. Which is? Um, a little over two pounds down. Excellent. Very good.